Hey everybody and welcome. Today I wanted to take a little bit of a closer look at the Bilstein B6 and B8 struts for the BMW F2X, F3X, and F8X chassis cars and kind of take a look and see why these might actually raise your ride height a bit. Now I know this is not just some random phenomenon because I've experienced this myself and I've seen other people in the forums say, hey, you know, after installing these, my ride height actually increased. So let's go ahead and we'll take a closer look at this compared to an OE damper and uh, see why that might be. So here I've got a B6 strut next to an OE uh, electronic damper strut from my uh, F31. And what should immediately be apparent is the height difference between the upper and lower sections of the spring pad um, for both of these. Now this metal part is the spring base and there's a rubber spring pad that goes on top of there. But you can s clearly see that this has a larger change in height on the OE one versus the Bilstein which is much flatter. Now if you're wondering why this one overall looks lower it's because at the bottom of the damper <coughs> the OE damper or the OE strut housing is a little bit longer so um, it sits a little bit deeper into the knuckle however if you measure from where the top of the knuckle sits and there's a faint line on both where you can see where that is and measure to these different points on the spring pads um, it's close but there are some differences so looking at the Bilstein B6 from where the top of the knuckle sits to the bottom of the spring pad base I measured at 7 and 5 16 inch on the OE uh, strut I measured that same dimension and it came to 7 and 3 16 inch so this is an eighth of an inch lower at its lowest point. Looking at the highest point of the spring pad base on the Bilstein from the top of the knuckle to that I measured at 7 and 13 30 seconds inch and on the OE that dimension was 7 and 27 30 seconds inch. So that gives us a top to bottom height delta on the OE of 21 30 seconds or uh, about 5 eighths inch, so more than half an inch. And on the Bilstein, it's 3 30 seconds inch or roughly an eighth of an inch. Now BMW designed their springs with this gradient in mind. And so when you deviate from the gradient, as the Bilstein has done where it's flatter, that changes the orientation of the spring. So I've gone ahead and go and put the uh, OE uh, rubber spring pad uh, on the pad base and you can see the high side is actually where the spring ends and the low side is just for the uh, spacer on the pad itself. So what Bill Stein has done by raising this side slightly and lowering this side is they've changed the orientation of the spring so that it's not necessarily sitting straight up and down like this but now it's more rotated like that. And as you can see, like the stack up height from here to here when you rotate it is actually longer than if it was sitting perfectly flat. Additionally, we also have to think about the higher gas forces that Bilsteins tend to use because of their monotube design. So in a monotube uh, damper, you have a kind of floating piston down here that separates the nitrogen uh, gas from the damper oil and the uh, piston, the damper piston itself. And Bill Stein on these guys for this platform, they tend to charge these somewhere around the 45 to 50 pounds. So that means that's an extra 45 to 50 pounds you have to press on the damper before it will start to move. So on the OE one, the gas force is somewhere, I think it was like 15 pounds when we measured it. So if I just press with this, it takes only 15 pounds before the shaft starts to move versus the Bill Stein, I have to push down much uh, harder on. So what that means is, is you have that extra uh, force pushing up or supporting the car and it's kind of like adding that extra force to your spring. So you're going to get less compression on your spring than you would with this because you have all those extra pounds pushing up on the car. So those are the reasons why I think the Bilstein B6 and B8 raise your ride height versus the OE struts. Um, if you have another hypothesis, I'd be happy to hear about it. Uh, I've put a link to the forum post in the description below, so go ahead and check it out and join the discussion. Thanks.